The first thing you're going to notice about the sauna is its size. And welcome inside the Evolve Mini. You've also got a light button here. It's Alex here from alexfergus.com. Now, if you're looking for a well-priced, extremely healthy, low EMF, compact infrared sauna, then I think I found it. And it's this, the Sunstream Evolve Mini Infrared Sauna. I've been using this sauna for over a year now and um, have quite a bit of experience in the infrared sauna space, both reviewing research and using them. And uh, this sauna, which I've had now for a week or two, uh, I have to say is very impressive. Not only is it very small, which is great if you're in an apartment or tight on space, but it's extremely well priced. It's only $2,200 US plus it's shipping and, and taxes and whatnot. Um, but for that, you are getting extremely powerful, extremely fast uh, to heat up and extremely safe sauna. So in this video, I'm going to do a comprehensive review uh, looking at all the good things and some of the bad things about the sauna. So stay tuned. The first thing you're going to notice about the sauna is its size. I stand at 5'10", 178 centimeters, and um, I'm actually taller than the sauna. Now most, most saunas you can stand up in, I know my Evolve 20 from Sunstream Sauna I can stand up in, but I, I hit the top. Um, but you know, there's a bit more size in there, a bit more space in there. This is a small sauna, uh, there's no denying that and hence the name Mini. Sunstream also do a, a slightly larger one man sauna called the Evolve 10. Later on in this video, uh, I will do a quick comparison about specs and prices there. Um, but th it's obvious who this sauna is marketed towards. It is marketed towards those people who, one, are on a budget, which we'll speak about soon, and two, are uh, space conscious. So I currently live in a four bedroom house. We have plenty of space. I have a two man sauna. It's great. However, I used to live in, in a little apartment and after that, uh, a one bedroom little townhouse. I would have loved to have a sauna in those uh, environments, but space was an issue. The other benefit of a small size is how quick it heats up and also how powerful, well, how hot it is with those powerful heaters in there. So small is actually quite good. Now, now I've, referred about, I've referred to this in previous uh, reviews and videos, for instance, in my Evolve 20 review and the blog post review over at alexfergus.com. I mentioned how smaller is better when it comes to saunas because one, it uses less electricity, two, it heats up a lot faster, which is a great thing for you know those evenings when you think, hey, I want a sauna, and you flick it on and you can jump in it 15 minutes later rather than waiting an hour or so. Um, footprint, obviously, is, is a big one. And the other great thing about the small size is cost. It brings the cost right down. So speaking of price, this Evolve Mini is currently uh, available for $2,200 or, or thereabouts. Uh, that is a special that's going on at the moment, but if you mention my name, Alex Fergus, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to lock in that price. That's US dollars for US customers. You will have to pay some shipping charge, though it's not too bad, and uh, maybe taxes depending on where you're getting it. It's also available in um, Australia and New Zealand, <coughs> excuse me, for about three and a half thousand Aussie dollars. You know what, let's go inside, uh, I'll show you around. Not that there's uh, too much room to show you around. I'll show you around inside, I'll show you around the layout, um, comfort, we'll do a quick look at the panels, uh, layout, panel layout, and then we'll test the EMF. And um, there's still a lot more I, I, I want to talk to you about. Uh, I want to talk to you about my experiences with it, I want to talk to you about my wife's experiences using it, uh, I want to talk to you about the comparison of using this one versus a larger two man, um, warranty shipping and other options. So don't go away. Uh, let's go in and um, have a look inside. And welcome inside the Evolve Mini. I forgot I had this running and it is quite warm in here. So one thing I will mention, um, this heats up. What are we? We're going into spring here in New Zealand. Um, so it's not too hot, but it's not too cold either. Uh, I've turned this on on full power, 100% intensity, and within 10 minutes we're at about 55 degrees Celsius. Now, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but to put that in perspective, this tops out at 65 in terms of the settings, 65. 10 minutes, you're already in a, in a hot like environment. If I sat in a 55 degree uh, the sauna with the panels going, within you know a few minutes i'm sweating already now we're at 40 degrees and i feel like i'm going to start sweating so the cool thing is it sweats uh, it heats up very very fast 
And that is because of the size. It is very small. I mean, I'm sitting down and there's not too much clearance above me. Um, I'm a larger guy. I weigh, you know, 100 kilos, maybe 220 pounds. Um, I've got, I don't know, if, if, I, if my shoulders hit one wall, I've got, you know, five inches maybe on the other side. It's not a big space, okay? Speaking of the door, it is a little bit small. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when I went in, you kind of go in on the side and you, you, know, you sort of wiggle in and then, ah, you're in. Um, it is kind of amusing. The first time I saw the door, I was like, ah, oh, it's like a half door and, and that's exactly what it is. Um, if you were someone that was quite large, you know, we're, taking, we're talking six foot and or large, um, obese, you know, big belly, you may, you'll get in, it's just going to be a bit of a squeeze. Um, the thing is you're doing this on your own, it's not like a communal sauna and everyone's watching you thinking, oh god, I mean you might struggle or whatever to get in, it's not end of the world. Uh, for me, it's like, oh, okay, you just sort of pivot and away you go. My wife got in, she didn't even say anything about it and she's like half my size. This is the control panel, I can turn the sauna off, on, I can set the time up to an hour 60 minutes I can set the set temperature up to 65 um, and I don't know if you can see this but down the bottom here is intensity and uh, there's an intensity button and I've talked about this in the Volve 20 sauna um, I think this is a really cool feature so you get 100% 75 down to 50 why is that such a cool feature the cool thing is if you're new to infrared saunas or you're pushing a really big session uh, you know, you put the temperature right up and you get 100%, you might only last like 10-15 minutes. It's that intense, right? Now, you, some people use saunas for the comfort factor to warm themselves up after like a day out in the snow or in the, in the rain. Um, others are using it for therapeutic reasons, others just use it for hot cold, you know, contrast with cold swims. Um, there's various reasons. Some people want to be in here a little bit longer, um, especially if you're new to saunas, right? That's where that intensity setting comes in really handy. You can set the temperature to what you want and put the intensity down. So the panels will hold that temperature, but the power intensity coming out is a lot less. You've also got a light button here, which turns that light on. And above me, you have a speaker, or two speaker units and a vent for um, cooling yourself down. So compare this to the Evolve 20 and the Evolve 10, which is mm, like a step up. The Evolve 20 being a two man, the Evolve 10 being a one man, a larger one man uh, with a few more bells and whistles. They include the color therapy option, um, which I believe you can get as an extra in this anyway. Uh, and they also come with Kenwood speakers. So these speakers are non-branded, um, you know, cheaper speakers do just as good of a job. I mean, if you're playing a YouTube video or listening to a podcast, it doesn't really matter if you like your music or if you're sitting in someone who's doing music and listening to music, then hey, you might prefer the, 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 the better quality sound speakers. Personally, for me, it doesn't make a difference. Um, yeah, so that's that. They do use Bluetooth, uh, so you can connect via Bluetooth. You can disable the Bluetooth if you're worried about EMF. All right, I've got my Cornet, Le Cornet Electro Smog Meter here. Um, I'll put a link to this below. It's about two, three hundred dollars Really good meter for testing electric fields, magnetic field, and microwave fields. So again, I have done a full test, um, full video testing EMF levels in these Sunstream saunas. Check that out. Um, later on if you want to watch that. I'm just going to do a real quick test here to make sure that those numbers line up. So I won't get too much into the details here. I'm going to sit this on the seat about a couple inches from the back panel here. The meter's up the top. Now let's hope you can see this. The sauna is currently off uh, and this has been programmed to building biology standards. So the green is where we want to be on the side here. Where are we? There we go. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. You might see a bit of a spike as it turns it on. I'm going to make sure the intensity is up 100%. Alright, and there we go. The sauna panel is now on. And those numbers are still rock bottom. If I move this even closer, well, closer, again, rock bottom. And we're only about an inch from the panel, which is great. Um, let's test electric field. And same thing, the panels are on, 
rock bottom on the green. So as you can see, it is a rather cozy space. Uh, the cedar backrest comes included in the price, which is great. You can put that on the side or behind you, or choose not to use it at all. You have panels in the front, a nice glass window looking out, straight into my Volvo 20. Uh, panel on the side, panel behind you. And then on this side, you have the door and a small panel. Now, speaking of that door, as you can see, it's, it's reasonably small. If we compare that to the Volvo 20 saw, uh, this one over there. Um, a few other things I should mention. Oh, and yeah, we have the back panel down there. So all of these panels come off. They're magnetically attached. Boom, you can pull them off, which is great if you want to clean them. If you want them fixed in, there are screws. They supply the screws so you can screw them in place. But for instance, down here, a lot of saunas don't have this. I know my old um, clear light sauna just had tiles down here, which would get all gross. Um, but here you, you have the, the infrared rays coming up underneath you, which, which is pretty cool. As you can see, I'm standing right, I've got to crouch down to be level with this sauna, right? And that door is quite small. If I get in, there isn't really much room to turn around in. Um, and yeah, get set up and I, I, I can't stand up, so I'm crouched down. Again, um, that shouldn't really matter because you're just coming in, you're gonna sit down, and away you go, huh. But for those that are bigger, again, that could be a bit of a problem. But what about using it? Do you feel claustrophobic? Now that was the one concern I did have. I haven't had those concerns. I've done a few sessions in here now. Um, it definitely hasn't happened. Um, in fact, I'd almost say it's, it's, it's quite a cozy, like intimate sort of feeling. It's weird. You get in here and you're in this tiny little space and you know, you're reading your book or listening to the podcast or doing your meditation and yeah, you sit and you, and you, and you sweat it out. Um, so that, that's good. I mean, that's some good feedback. Now my wife has done, I think two sessions in here now. She's not a big Swanee user, but she's used the two man one and, um, my previous three-man one, she's used all sorts of the saunas that we've had here in the Fergus household. Uh, so I asked her last night, it was the first time she'd been in a one-man sauna. I said, how'd you feel? And she said, oh, was fine. I said, did you feel claustrophobic or like it was too small? And she said, no, not at all. She said, like me, she had those concerns going into it, um, but it was an issue. So there we go. One thing I forgot to mention before was setup. This here, I set the whole thing up in about 15 minutes with a little time lapse video which will show you the process. I didn't even read the instruction manual, I just, you know, haven't done these over the, over the years, I kind of know how they go. Um, but yeah, super simple to set up. It is quite light, I mean, you can move this one once it is assembled, like if you wanted to push it across the other side of the room, you can do that, no stress. Alright, so there's a few other technical things I wanted to talk about. Um, before we get into my comparisons and overall conclusion with my review here. So this sauna, the Volvo Mini, draws, and I gotta check my notes here, excuse my unprofessionalism, draws 1,390 watts. Now when this is converted into a wattage per area um, figure, it works out to be 41.4 watts per uh, cubed foot. I think that's what you say. I'm used to using metrics, which would be meters squared. So this is feet squared. 41.4. Now to put that in comparison, an Evolve 20 um, from Sunstream Sauna draws 2,060 watts. So, you know, it's a good 700 watts more, but it's only 34.8 watts. So 35 versus 41. And that's because of the surface or the space inside the sauna. They use carbon near infrared heaters, the same heater panels that are used in all the Sunstream Saunas. Uh, what else? Easy clean, we spoke about that. Alright, so included with the Sunstream Evolve Mini, some goodies. Here we have the uh, Cedar Backrest, which comes included in the price. I know some other companies you pay an extra 100, 200 bucks or whatever to get one of those. Um, that comes free with it, which is awesome. The one that I had set up in there is actually from my Evolve 20 because I have two of them in there. Plus you get this little goodie box. You get a sauna hat, branded in Sunstream uh, Infrared Saunas. You get a Sunstream Infrared Sauna towel, which is a really big, great towel to have. You get um, a brush, skin brush. Uh, you get a little 
shot glass with a shot holder. No, <laughs> it's not a, it's not meant to be used for shots. It's meant to be used for aromatherapy. So you can put essential oils in there and all the screws to put that in, in place. Plus you get a single cup holder there. Um, which you can screw into the wall. I haven't done that yet. Um, I just haven't got around to getting the drill out. So this is uh, my Evolve 20. We have two cup holders with Evolve Mini. You just get a single one and then you've got your little aromatherapy unit there. Plus the uh, adjustable back support, which is pretty neat. All right, so I know earlier on we touched on price, but I thought I'd just do a quick summary section here where we look at price, shipping, warranty. Warranty on the Sunstream Sawn is it's 10 years. 10 years for the electronics and heater pan panels, which is awesome. I, mean, I think it's like comparable with all the other brands, if not better. Um, and I think in Australia, it might, might even be Australia and New Zealand customers, I think they even get a longer warranty period. So that is really cool. Um, price for the Evolve 20, sorry, the Evolve Mini, which I have behind me, is 2,195 US dollars plus your taxes, plus your shipping. Again, mention my name and you may, you may get some you know, half price shipping or a freebie or, or you'll get some uh, sweeter deal. Uh, for Australian, New Zealand customers, it's about three and a half thousand Aussie dollars. And I think shipping may be included to main cities, but don't quote me on that. Again, I mention my name and you'll be looked after. Um, so now I wanna speak to you about comparisons. How does this compare to other saunas within the Sunstream range and then within you know, the competitor range as well. So, so on my left there I have the Evolve Mini, on my right I have the Evolve 20 two man sauna. First thing, first thing you need to really decide is what's your budget when it comes to you know, purchase price. Actually no, that shouldn't be the first thing because I think there are times uh, in this world where you can push a budget and um, and uh, get something that you know maybe you can't afford right now. But um, maybe the first thing you should decide is space because if you are confined to a very small uh, footprint, you're in an apartment, you don't have the space for a two or three man sauna, then straight away uh, that's gonna narrow your options down. On that front, you have the Evolve Mini from Sunstream, you have the slightly larger Evolve 10, and then you have competitor products from Sunlight and, and Clearlight. You know what, if you're coming, if you're looking for a low cost, small sauna, one of the best saunas in the market in terms of build quality and health and performance, I'm going to have to say it, but just, just go with the Mini. I, I don't know if you can really justify that extra thousand dollars for the Volt 10. Now, if you can, if you do have the money to go up, then you should start looking at the two man saunas, right? So. Over here, I've got the Evolve 20, which is 3,900. So about $700 more than the Evolve 10, but a good, you know, $1,800 more than the Evolve Mini. The great thing with the Evolve 20 is, of course, you can fit two people in it. Um, not only that, you can stand up in it. You've got uh, the stool bench, so you can put your feet up in it, which is pretty cool for a two-man sauna, because typically you need a three-man sauna to put your feet up in it. I have some pros and cons here. All right, let's go through the, the, the positives first. Amazing price, market leading, for the quality you're getting, this isn't some cheap Chinese one full of God knows what with horrible uh, EMF output and you know, it's probably gonna have a year long warranty. You know, f for a quality, well-built sauna, healthy, safe sauna, it's the best on the market, hands down. Um, great compact size, if you are tight in space in an apartment or in a spare room or even in your in your main room, like if it's the only room you got, you just got it tucked away in the corner. Great option. Super fast to heat up, 10, 15 minutes. Like I've never experienced that with a sauna ever. It's it's really, really cool. Uh, ultra low slash no EMF levels. Again, you won't find that with any other saunas, at least that I've tested and seen online. Um, no toxic materials, no off gassing. The downsides, it is tight to get in and out. And for some people who are uh, not a fan on smalls, small uh, spaces you may decide you want to get the Evolve 10 for a little bit more room though again it's it's not a deal breaker um, but some people might not like that you can't stand up in it again if you're pushing yourself uh, you know for those harder sessions where you just need to get up and you know need that, <laughs> that space to move you're not going to get that with here uh, no external control unit this is a downside I had with the Evolve 20 and it was coming from clear light so the clear light control panel was you know, on the exterior and then you could also access it from the interior. 
Um, and it was a downside I had with the Sunstream Saunders because you have to open the door, reach in and adjust the numbers. It's not, again, it's not a deal breaker. You're not gonna not buy one of these because of that, but it's just little things after years of, years of using saunas, it's something you're like, oh, it's just nicer to come along and, and push the buttons without having to reach in and you know mess around. Plus if your wife or someone else is gonna use the sauna afterwards, they can quickly see how long you got left. Same thing with the Volve Mini. It's in the far back corner, so you've got to open this little half door and reach in again. It's just, it's, it's, it's my feedback. Um, and the other negative with the Volve Mini and Sunstream in general is as of 2020, there is no European distributor. You've only got Canada, America, maybe Central and South America, I think, um, Australia, New Zealand, but you don't have anyone shipping these in Europe. And I know a lot of people are asking me, oh, like, what can I do about it? And uh, yeah, so if you're in Europe watching this and you've watched the last 20, 30 minutes, I need to hear that, I'm, I'm sorry. Leave questions, comments below, be sure to like, hit subscribe, stay tuned as well for more videos. I am gonna do a direct comparison between the Evolve Mini and my Evolve 20. I'm gonna do a bunch of testing in there and compare the numbers. I'm also gonna do a comparison between on paper comparison between the Mini and the Volt 10. If you'd like me to compare any other ones, let me know, you know, maybe the larger ones, um, though I'm sure I'll need someone else to help me uh, assemble those. Let me know if you want me to review or compare any other products or my team, let me know as well, because um, this is what we do here at alexfigus.com. We review and test and experiment and compare things. So check out my other videos and yeah, be sure to say hi. Bye.